All right, check out this section of road to come up to the trailhead. Holy cow, that is amazing. All right, we finally got out for a backpacking trip. I got Christy and Stephanie, and we are at the Mill Fork Trail up in the Deseret Peak Wilderness area. We're gonna hike up the trail a little ways. There's a lake up there. I don't know if we can get that far because of snow level. So far, no snow yet, but we saw snow on the mountain coming up the road. So we, looks like we're the only ones here. So it looks like we'll have the place to ourselves. And this is Christy's first backpacking trip of the year and Stephanie's first ever. So hopefully they don't ruin her. And here's a picture of the sign right there, the Mill, Mill Fork Trail, Deseret Peak. So I was looking at the trail description. It looks like we're about four miles to the lake. If we can get there, it looks like it's about a 2,000 foot elevation gain. So it's going to be a pretty good climb. All right, 100 feet into the trail, we're made it to the wilderness boundary. All right, so this is the trail, what it looks like so far. Looks like we're meandering up this stream bed drainage here through the aspen and pines mixed. And we started out at about 74.50 for elevation. We'll be camped at about, let's see, let me do the math. Um, somewhere in the nines, anyway. Should be pretty high altitude. Oh, look at that, we're seeing the signs of spring. Look at all the flowers. Pinks and white ones. Food, water, and shelter. And yeah, I kind of wish you I didn't bring Ooh, that's that Our first uh, signs of snow. not warm. Oh, and it's about 50, 50 something degrees when we started. 53, I think. This has been a pretty nice trail so far through the trees. <clears throat> Plenty steep though. Plenty steep. It's May 20th, 2022. I've been working on whittling down my pack weight. And woohoo! I got it down to 48 pounds on this trip. <laughs> down from quite a bit more than that. <laughs> At least I'm under 50, that's pretty good. Yeah, so this is a new trail for all of us. Never been on this uh, mountain on a trail. This is out in the West Desert, but it's a mountain range called the Stansbury Mountains that jut out from the desert floor. You know, with the prominence of five, six thousand feet and uh, pretty wilderness. Um, we were going to go to the Uinas, but the forecast said snow. So then we were going to go to the Wasatch Front, forecast said snow. So I checked the forecast here and it said cold and cloudy. So we decided to try something new. So far, so good. Yeah, the markings on that tree right there. 1968. It's two years before my birth year. So that tree's been here a while. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Look at the size of that mushroom. Holy crap. Dang. It's huge. Here, hold it. Wow. Don't need it. Wow, that is crazy big. Holy cow. This is Deadfall City right here, too. Got another one right there. That one just snapped off right at the base. Look at that. 
Holy crap. Wow. Dang. That's impressive. I don't know when they did the trail magic here, but look at that tree. That's pretty neat. Look. Look, we got the yellow yellow flowers are coming out. Looks like the girls are ready to the first river crossing. I got the blooper reel going. This could end well or not. Well, all right then, she made it look easy. I think I'm going to take this route over there and just do a little hop. Because <clears throat> that right there, it's a little sketch. All right, woo! I ended up going through the water right there. All right, we crossed the river and immediately lost the trail. It almost went four different ways. But we bushwhacked across the top here after looking at the map. And we're back on track again. Christy loves a bushwhack. It's her favorite thing. <laughs> Not. There's our first snow crossing. Heck yeah. Wasn't too bad. Hopefully there's not many more of those. All right, we're almost busting out of the tree line a little bit. Starting to get some views. Down Canyon. Starting to see a few more of these snow crossings here. No big deal so far. All right, we just rounded the corner and got our first views of the valley. Look at that. Heck yeah. Don't go down there. Don't go down there. I set a trap. <laughs> All right, I must admit these views right here do not suck on a trail. Holy cow. How beautiful is this? This is spectacular. Very nice. We even got some yellow flowers coming out too. Look at those. Pretty. All right, we're coming into this bowl right here and then we're gonna cut across. And you can see the trail cutting across right there. Heck yeah. So are we taking a breather or are we taking a scenery break? Because look at that. Heck yeah. That is all right. That's spectacular. Holy cow, look at that. That is impressive. Look at that notch right there. Wow, this is a pretty trail. So it looks like we're gonna cross right over here. And then we're gonna work our way across that slope. You can kind of see the trail right here. And then it goes, just continues on until it tops out. Such a pretty area in here, holy cow. All right, well that was a little, a little pucker right there, holy cow. Cause that's a long way down that little chute there. Man, this trail just keeps on giving with the views. Holy cow. Hopefully we can get over there sooner than later. It's just spectacular views. All right, here's another one of those snow slide areas. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. We're going to go down there. See those footsteps there? 
across right there. Okay. Boy, that's getting cold. That sun's cold. sun's a dipping. Yeah, this is steep. All right. Yeah, because look at that. I don't think we wanted to come down that and bust through. But look at those waterfalls up there. We've got the purples out. It's yep. pretty purple flowers. All right, we made it to this little point, top of this first ridge line. Yeah. Look at those views. That is fantastic. And then here's the next basin. We just we're trying to decide if we're going to crest this next ridge to the lake or. Try to find something here, head back to that other flat spot. Hmm. Yeah, but look at that. Hike up to that you would. Spot right there. Which would be okay. Well, we found some deer in there. There's one there and one over here. There's a few more in there. Always oh, deciding to move there. See it moving into the tree there, center of the screen. Yeah, there's another view of the deer, right? Heard of them right there. All right, we made a joint decision. Not a lot of flat spots around here for camp, so we're gonna go backtrack a little bit and go down this little side trail we saw that looks like it goes over to the little grove of pines. Maybe it's a flat spot in there. If not, we did see one back towards the river where we came from, so we can always default back to that. But uh, so when I go downhill, this is a pretty steep mountain, so finding flat spots is proven to be a little difficult. All right, well, that was a dead end. That little trail there looked promising for a campsite. A little stealth camp off the trail a little bit, but nope. <laughs> it's too steep, too snowy. So we're going to head back down closer to the river down here. Because we did see a couple of flat spots down in the bottom there where we can put our tents up. Well, that's what you get for not coming here before and knowing where to go. So, we'll just learn as we go. The beauty about backpacking is you can pretty much just go where you want to go and once you find a spot, you can just plunk down a camp and chill. So, so far, we're not too lucky on that, but we're, uh, we're going to keep trying. I just took a weather app download on the Garmin, and it says it's going to be 25 degrees by morning. So it's going to be a chilly night. So we're going to default back to this spot here that looks semi-flat for our campsite because we're coming on to 7 o'clock p.m. We haven't had dinner yet and the camp's not set up yet either and the sun already went down behind the mountain. So whatever we do, we got to do it fast. 
so yeah you can see the ice in the in the grass right there pretty cool pretty cool a little bit of water in the trail here a little bit of snow blockage in the trail well, all right it's not ideal but it's the best that we can find we got one little spot right there for a two-man tent and right over here another spot it's pretty slopey but it's all we got it's all we got to work with there's already a ready-made fire ring there so we'll utilize that but golly i don't know not much to offer for campsites here for levelness well, all right i was approached by the owner of uh, bigfoot bushcraft uh, to try out his product he sent this to me in the mail to try out uh, what it is, is a fire starting kit um, comes with this tin and then you got these fire plugs inside here i'll do a close-up here in just a second and then it came with this little baggie here and inside the baggie is a uh, ferro rod Right here with the striker. Anyway, so it's a pretty nice ferro rod, nice striker. And it looks like there's a lanyard in here and a backup striker. Uh, so the concept here is it's waterproof, uh, it'll light no matter what. So we're going to test that out in the water tomorrow, but for right now, I just want to test it out to see how it works. Well, all right. The temperature got down below, below 30 degrees Fahrenheit. My fingers aren't working real good. Let's just see if I can get this fire going to warm them up. I'm gonna pull out one of these plugs. So it's just, uh, it's like a fabric with uh, kind of a waxy coating on them to protect it from the water. That's what makes them waterproof. So it says you just twist them and break it, break up those fibers a little bit. Wiggle it around like that to fluff that up real good. And I think the claim is that this will burn for five minutes. So that should be long enough to get our rest of our fuel on our sticks and stuff to catch fire. So I'm going to set that right there. I'm going to see if we can't get a spark with my frozen fingers. Okay. Oh gosh, my fingers are frozen. It would be helpful with this land, this thing not on the lanyard. There it goes. Okay. Let's see if we can't get uh, this thing to light some fuel. Other than my fingers not working, I'd say that it lit pretty quick. So it seems how I'm in survival mode trying to get my fingers warmed up. This is putting this uh, fire starting kit to a good test. I'm going to use this small kindling here to see if we can't get something going. Oh yeah, I can feel the warmth already. Okay, it looks like it's working pretty good. We have fire. Alright, tomorrow we'll do the test. We'll put one of those fire plugs in the water. See if we can get it to work with, with it being wet and see if it'll live up to its waterproof claim. There we go. That plug is still burning, but the wood that I put on there wasn't, so... 
And I didn't bring in any of my... There we go. My uh, wax things. <laughs> yeah. It worked like a charm. Well, I just tested out that fire plug. It works good. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Big Foot Bushcraft. I'm warming up my fingers. Because it's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that view behind me. Can't beat that. It's worth the cold to have views like that. Oh yeah. All right, first time backpacker. First one to set up camp. <laughs> got the fire going. Chrissy's getting her bed made. We got that set up. It's getting cold. But these views Heck yeah. This impressive campsite with impressive views and not so impressive slopey tent pads. I imagine like a cup. Add one, one cup. One cup? Yep. Yeah. On the menu for me is chicken teriyaki with rice and vegetables. Christy's got a homemade, homemade backpack and meal. Hers is uh, chicken alfredo. Some fresh broccoli, some dehydrated broccoli to put in it. Looks so like I need two cups. Come on now, come on now. Come on now. Come on, man. Whoa. <coughs> Fire loves you. It's amazing how fast that water boils up here. There you go. All right, got Stephanie over here with her food. Got her jet boil going on. We've got a rolling boil in there. See? What do you got for dinner? Uh, chicken and rice. Chicken and rice? Right. Chicken and rice. Adventure meal. All right. Don't burn yourself, because that would suck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this fire is fantastic, because it's below 30 degrees right now. Christy's like, are we winter camping? <laughs> There's still snow up here. Are you okay being YouTube famous? I guess I don't have any choice if I can hang out with you, right? <laughs> Just pretending it's not there, so. Then we're good. Yeah. Oh, golly. It's a little chilly, but these views are amazing. Yeah, they are. That's gorgeous. Time to crack open a cold. Coke Zero. Luxury. It's my luxury item for this trip. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you always carry such a heavy pack? Mm -hmm. Even like, that's uh, his name. Packs a lot. Packs a lot. I guess that's true, yeah. I guess. I didn't put that together, I guess. Not by choice, but by budget. Yeah. I like to carry what I want to carry and can't afford all the super lightweight stuff. Yeah, that's true. And you want what you want on the trip. Mm -hmm. Back in. Alright, it's time to partake of some of the freeze-dried goodies. 
Yeah, uh, freeze dried uh, carrots. Mm -hmm. Freeze dried uh, chocolate culvers custard. And freeze freeze dried high chews and starburst. And we'll do the healthy one first. Watch out for flying sticks. Ah, ah. <laughs> She's smacking a stick across the log. <laughs> Dehydrated carrots, good stuff. A little dry though, you gotta wash it down. <clears throat> Culver's dark chocolate. Crunchy, but delicious. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. And then, Starburst. Starburst for Christy. Well, Christy's over here, by the way. Mm. No, this is Stephanie, but out of you, <laughs> it's Christy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the Starburst is good. Hi, too. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm probably going to do cookie dough bite. Mmm. And cleanse the palate. Starburst. It's good stuff. Freeze dried treats. Perfect for the trail. So, what's happening over here? Nine at night. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a chilly one. We're gonna break you in good for your first backpacking trip. Can you see the flex on it? Yeah, I can. Let's see if I zoom in on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that frost. That's crazy. Huh. Well, all right then. Christy's enjoying the nice hot fire. All right getting really cold it's time to break out all the tricks we're gonna boil some water and put it in our Nalgene bottles put them in the bottom of our bag to warm up our bags it's supposed to get down below freezing, freezing. probably about 25 degrees in the night barf. so whoo Christy's over there saying oh barf Okay, so Christy's cold, but we're showing off the uh, freeze-dried uh, bacon and eggs that we made at home. Sorry. We freeze-dried them and then uh, now she's rehydrating them. And I had some... Looks like you might need a little more water, but... Um... Huh. Looks like it's going to turn out pretty good. Stephanie, the first time backpacker, is already packed up and ready to go. <laughs> She's like, it's 25 degrees, it's too cold. I need to get up and move. That's pretty awesome. We got a couple of extreme skiers here. They're backpacking or packing their skis up. I think they're probably going to ski down those chutes. Looks like they got their helmets and everything too. It's a little more adventurous than I want to be. Skiing down that, holy cow. All right, we just got some info from this hiker that just went by with skis. He said there's people up in that chute right there and that's one of the main chutes they ski down. And I can see, I can see a couple of bodies up in there skiing down that slope. That is crazy. Holy cow. Well, all right, we survived the night in brutally cold 25 degree Fahrenheit weather. I 
Woo. First time backpacker. First time this year for Christy. Probably her coldest camp yet. Freezing. She said it was freezing. Yep. Anyway, I didn't think it was that bad. I just shivered all night. <laughs> anyway, we're getting ready to get our packs on and head down the trail. Just need to ask Stephanie one thing. How? Oh boy. How is it? Good. Backpacking's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I had fun. It wasn't. It can only get better from here, right? It wasn't a deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Christy, how about the coldest camp? It, just my fingers and toes. So knowing that, maybe prepare a little bit better with just different gloves or maybe invest in some better gloves. As long as your fingers and toes are cold or warm, you're good to go? Yep. Sweet. Right on. Look at this backdrop. I just can't get over how beautiful that is. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful area. But I will say the camp pad sites here are not real good. There's one, one semi-flat one here that Stephanie had and then <laughs> We were and then we were on a <laughs> we were on a okay, you guys so nice. slippery slope that right there, suck. but that was all there was. This might <laughs> this might be a good place to hammock camp up in the trees maybe. So anyway, we're gonna hit the trail. All right, looking off into the distance, there's the uh, Great Salt Lake, and right out there is Antelope Island. Top of that is where we hiked Ferry Peak earlier in the year. Beautiful, beautiful trail. All right, I guess hiking up this and skiing this is a thing because that's like our 14th person we've passed with skis. So, pretty neat. All in the name of YouTube. Hike down, hike back, grab the camera. Hike down, hike back, grab the camera. Need a shuffle. Hike back down. Okay, it looks like the blooper cam is going. No sweat. All right, we made it off the mountain. How was that uh, trip? It was very cold, but very nice. Awesome. It was fun. It's beautiful. It was beautiful, yes. We hiked in further than we camped, but yeah. we ended up turning around to get to camp, so. Anyway, we made do with what we had. It was sloping area, but we made a trip of it and had a lot of fun. That was awesome. Sweet. Oh, and until next time, it's another one in the books.